Oh, yeah, and I have good reason to be afraid. Look at that. There's one right there. You're kidding me. Isn't this majestic? Look at the look at all these uh, look at all these sauropods. Anyway, hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. This is TBT here, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. Um, today we're going to be picking up where we left off the last time and going on a hunt for an Ankylosaurus, or Ankylosaurus as it is sometimes called. <clears throat> Didn't have a whole lot of luck last time. I think I saw a couple of them, but they were like garbage. I don't even think I bothered recording it. Also, this is adorable, but it also looks like oh, Dinotherium. Uh oh. Oh, oh! Please hit the oh! Please hit the hit the guy. Oh, there's a there's actually a Dodicarus down there. Oh no. Wait, are they aggroed on him? I heard, like, a f actual fight break out there for a second. Not sure the Dinotherium really wants the smoke with the Bracky, but, uh... Oh, there's a note down there. Let's get the... How have I not seen that until now? What is wrong with me? That's a Rockwell note, too. The new Legion is finally on the march, and not a moment too soon. Mr. Nerva runs his tribe exceptionally well, but their compound is positively Spartan. I don't think I saw a single piece of decor anywhere. It certainly made me miss the comforts of Rockwell Manor, I'll say that. At any rate, we are apparently in pursuit of a barbaric beast queen. According to the men, she feasts on the flesh of her enemies alongside her army of monsters. Dreadful. Mr. Nerva is convinced that she is heading towards an obelisk, but I see no cause for alarm. No mere heathen could hope to uncover its secrets, and certainly not alone. Um, if you didn't know the person he's referring, the Rockwell is referring to here is Mei Yin, uh, who did have the title of the Beast Queen because she tamed so many creatures. Um. But, uh, yeah, no, all the stuff that he just said about her is Cap. So Nerva was presumably either that's a story his men told and he believed it, or or he um, or he was attempting to manipulate Rockwell in some way and actually succeeded. And there's Charlie. I literally just let him in, and he's like, nah. <laughs> and now I want out. <laughs> Uh, you know how it is with cats. Um, if you have one yourself. They're fantastic. Um, and they can be lovely, but they can be very demanding and at times absolutely, like, contradictory to themselves. So I will go take care of them, and I will see you guys in a second. By the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, go ahead and give me a solid hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Feed the algorithm gods their just do so that this video spreads all around YouTube. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Now, here, here's another note. And if I, wait, did I already get this one? Um, I want to say I did, but I'm not sure. No, I did not. Oh, this is in the swamp, though, so I'm going to be careful. In the wild, Apis Lithohermia... Yeah, I don't want to have that, and so I... From their nests which they build high in the island's redwood trees or on rocky cliff sides. Apis drones can be seen swarming around the nest in groups, but to get a look at the queen Apis, one would need to crack open the nest itself. Speaking from experience, this is not a pleasant task, as the untamable Apis drones are quite territorial. I probably should have seen that one coming in hindsight. Take caution. Apis stings will significantly weaken any creature which suffers them. And because its stinger is not barbed, 
Apis can sting multiple times without its stinger being ripped away. A tamed Apis queen will lay new drone eggs and construct a nest that survivors can farm for honey, so long as they remember to wear specialised beekeeping gear. Said honey is not only sweet and delicious, but laced with scents that land mammals find irresistible. Many hunters use it to bait their traps. Apis drones will also follow their queen into battle, so they can be used for self-defense in a pinch. Interesting. But yeah, I didn't want to have the explorer note there because I didn't want to touch the water too much and get dismounted in the middle of the swamp. That would have been terrible. So that's why I, uh, I closed it. So yeah, that's the giant bee note. I don't think I've ever gotten that one either. There's a lot of explorer notes I actually haven't gotten. Uh, and uh, a lot of the creature dossiers I never bothered with. I'm not even sure if I'm feeling like completing them all here either, but I mean, it's an option that exists. But yeah, I'm gonna try and head back to Redwood. That's, you, you can sometimes find Ankies there. Um, it's usually where I have the most luck with them on the island, although they can spawn along the uh, ridge of the volcano. They can spawn, they can spawn a lot of different places, but. Oh. I love how me swinging my talons forward knocks down that tree. Yup. Physics! Hey, I still will stand by the fact that the physics in this game makes more sense than it did in the last one. <laughs> you know, where T-Rexes could take a bite and somehow kill something that was 20 feet in front of their nose. Oh! Oh, that's a Dinosuchus. That's the first one I've seen, and it is an absolute garbage level, but it is having an absolute... It is launching that baby Theomia. Oh, look at that. I love the Dinosuchus. Originally, it was from the Ark Editions mod in Ark Survival Evolved. Now it's from Editions Ascended, and it's basically the same thing as it was there, a giant crocodile. Not unlike the Sarcosuchus, but um, without the narrow snout. In either case, though, both would have been extremely deadly creatures in real life. Like, both are massive and probably weren't very friendly. I think they also lived in different times and different places in the world, though. Alright, this is a situation where... I'd probably be better off diving beneath the trees, but until I know for certain that there's no Thyla in the area, I ain't doing that. If you've ever... Yeah, oh, yeah. And I have good reason to be afraid. Look at that. There's one right there. You're kidding me. See that? Oh fuck. Are you kidding? I can't believe you've done this. Oh, those stupid bugs. I hate the bugs. I hate them. Absolute menace. I think the bugs are way more common than they used to be in Ark Survival Evolved, and I really dislike it. Like, I actively think that's stupid. But it's a nitpick. It, it doesn't take away from my experience in the game, per se. It's just, an, it's just a, a major grievance that I have. But again, it is part of the game, and that's sort of the heartache you live for. I just think it's incredibly annoying, and I'm a little biased because I just died to it. But... <clears throat> It's also kind of annoying, because now I have to get my RG and then come back. But hey, we managed to kill the Thyla, and now we, uh, that's... I'm surprised he was able to hit me. Like, he launched himself off from the side and grabbed me, and I'm like, I, I'm a little suspicious of that. Uh, uh, that does not look like it's physically possible from the angle he was sitting at, but we're not going to talk about it. It is what it is. Again, it's Ark. You don't question these things. <laughs> 
actually, and it's interesting, what I was gonna do was I'm gonna try and shoot him off of the tree. Uh, at which point I wouldn't have had to worry about him anymore, but... Oh! Oh, that's neat. Okay. I got a pair of scissors for that. Ay yeah yay. See, the only issue is now I got a RTB because I got to take this guy back home. <sighs> well, once I'm uh, hooked up with the RG, we'll um, I'll cut away and bring us back when we're roughly where we were. I do, and it's just like that's that's one of those ones where it's like the stupid bugs kill me. Are you come? Are you kidding me? Irks. There's something moving around in the trees here. Oh, there's the textures. <laughs> oh, oh, it's another Thyla. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Well, it's... Oh, I need to get my stuff. Where's my bag? Oh, my bag is on the ground. That's not good. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, these are low level, thankfully. That, that would have gotten bad real fast. That bleed is serious business. Give me back all my stuff. <sighs> Put these in you. Ooh. Oh, those are all. Oh, those are mine. I already had those. Um. I need fiber for that, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. So this is where I'm gonna cut away, and I'll. Uh, well, here. Uh, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna cut away and I'll bring us back when we're back out on the road again. Right now I gotta take the Trandon home. I guess I could take it with me, but that's just one more thing I have to protect. So I don't think we're gonna be doing that. Alright, I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alrighty, we're back and I'm basically near the area where I died before. And you can see right here we got another RG. We got a couple of RGs here. Uh, both actually pretty gorgeous. I think they did something and changed the way they, like, the colors that they spawn with. And they may have done this for quite a few creatures. Because they seem to be spawning with more regular, like, variant variation in their coloration. And that is, that's a good thing. I like that. Although it doesn't make a lot of biological sense, but... Now, should I, am I saying every animal that's the same species should look the same? Absolutely not. Definitely not. But, um... If you know anything about biology, you know that um, creatures' coloration is actually, like, based a lot on their surroundings. And they're, like, what keeps them from getting killed, you know? I think that was a, an Archaeopteryx there. Okay, we've got... A lot of cementing paste and a crossbow, but I mean, I appreciate it. It's always good to have a second crossbow, but that one's significantly worse than the one I have, so. Okay, so this looks like the spot where I would see Ankies, right? Um, I'm going to kind of scan these ridges. Like, there's more than one of these areas, and this is where we came last episode, but... Uh, I didn't, I didn't see anything then, and I'm going to keep looking now. Um, I know they will also spawn somewhat near the snow biome, so... I've actually seen them in a fair few places. It's just like... I think they also spawn on Herbivore Island. I can always go there. Level 10, I think that said... I'm just checking levels in just in case. I'm not really planning on taming another RG here at the moment. And probably not at all, if I'm being honest. But, you know, we don't get everything we want. And if I see a really good one, I mean, I'm not going to pass it up. 
Okay, that right there is a t is an RG I would expect to see a lot more frequently in Ark Survival Evolved. That kind of coloration. Like that drabber brown and gray. The versus mine's got a lot more dynamics. It's got the white tip wings. It's got like the slate gray and like the rusty red um, head. And this one up here's got blue on it. Like, can you beat that? Oh! And speak of Ankies. Look at this. Look at this! Look at the colors on this! Of course it's garbage, because why wouldn't it be? Uh, is that... That's level 40. Okay, that's not 140, that is just 40. Dang it. <clears throat> oh, that one is so beautiful, though. Look at that. I've never seen a green Anki like that one. Like, green, that with those yellow spines, that's cool. I don't believe the real Ankylosaurus actually had spines on its back like that. What it did have was the arm, like, the armor's right. But, um, I don't think it had the spikes. I think that's from something called Eupa, Eupa Cephalus or something like that. I forget. And I could be totally wrong. I'm just trying to remember, like, what do I remember about about Ankylosaurus and how it looked in the real world. It's also important to remember that that is not the Ankylosaurus from the real world. That is a genetic, like, it's sort of an evolution of it. Like, the, the original Ankylosaurus, they took it and genetically modified it and made it into that. How did they do that? Uh, through the power of good sciency magic. In other words, I don't know. Uh, just accept that it's part of the plot and deal with it. <laughs> and again, it's one of those situations where I don't think... Uh, like, as someone who writes stuff... You know, I write, like, I, I write stories... I can tell you that it's one of those things where people would ask for an answer, but it doesn't need one. It's like, we don't need to know how the, how the process of them tampering and altering the genetics of these creatures to make entirely new species works. You just kind of have to accept that it, that it, that it does work, and that's what's happening. And you're no better off or worse off for, like, not having the answer to that question. So, oh! Uh, this man is stuck in the wall. Uh, well, he's not stuck, but he's, uh... I have a good. I just rounded the corner. He's right here. Oh, uh, this is the one that has like thirty thousand health, right? Yeah, look at that. I really want to try to kill it, but I also don't. All right, fine. Let me give it a roll. I'm so thankful that Alphas don't get any special attacks. Ima can you imagine if the Alpha Raptor could pounce you off of your Raptor? Like, how much would that suck, right? Wow, I gotta say, the textures look really good on this. Like, Alpha Rexes before just looked terrible. This looks nice. This looks clean. Although, the frame rate, frame drop is... Man. How are we doing on... I do love having these binoculars because I can check this. Alright, we're doing okay. We can get this kill. That's a good kill. And at that point, I will go keep looking for more Ankies. Oh! It's such a pretty red color. I do wish you could... Maybe not tame the alpha Alphas, but... Um, you used to be able to tame, I think you could tame the Alpha Raptor at one point, like, very early on in that, in that, it, like, way back early on in our Survival Evolved history, I believe you used to be able to tame the Alpha Raptor, but I could be wrong. Um, someone can please feel free to correct me on that. Like, I don't mind being corrected, uh, at all, if I screw up, because that's an opportunity for everyone to grow and learn, including me. I don't pretend to have all the answers. Oh, 
yeah, this fight is basically turning into what my, my big gripe with the bosses in this game is. It's just, if your numbers are higher than their numbers, you win. Just press left click over and over again. Oh, it's almost dead. Let's take it down. Oh my god, we got him. You, uh, gonna drop a bag? Okay. Did I get any loot at all for that? So this is where I would say we gotta go tame a carnivore now, but we really don't. Okay, it looks like, uh, oh, is there a baggie anywhere? No, and if there was, I probably would have gotten it. <sighs> I like how he kind of sat back against the rocks when he dropped, though. That was funny. <laughs> Alright, I think what I'm going to have to do is continue my searching, but... Hmm. The sad thing is that those two Ankies are really good. Like, they look really cool, and I want them. And it's just like, oh, I should tame them then, but no, no. With with utility creatures, the higher the level, the better the stats, and the better the stats, the more things they can carry. Also, yet another more typical uh, Argentavis from versus, versus my. It's like, and that's not to say you can't find them with these colors. It's just in my experience was very rare in Survival Evolved, and I never found a high level one that looked this good. Unless it was an ex Argentavis, in which case, man, they were good. Oh, there's a kitty. There is no longer a kitty. <laughs> Problem solved. All right, let's search a little bit lower. Let's kind of follow the mountain down here. We got Stego. Oh, that is a... That's a pretty Stego. I will say creatures definitely still seem to have some issue. That's a 135, too. That's gorgeous. But you can't grab Stegos. So why did I try that? I don't know. Just to see if I could actually do it. Yeah, I will see. I can't restrict myself to the top of the mountain because I think they will appear all around it. But hey, there we go. Our first Alpha Rex down. <clears throat> and I can mount its head on my wall. And I get. I like that you get two, two teeth for that. I don't know that that was always the case, but. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, sometimes you'll see Ankies all around here. I think you can also... I think you can also just find them kind of wandering around in here. It's just like, how much of a risk am I willing to take to get it? It's like, oh, I could always plan ahead and not run into the, the Thyla, but it's like, as we just saw, if they can nail you from the side like that, then it's... If you're near one and you don't see it, good luck. Like, I saw that guy, and he still jumped and got me. I guess if you hear them coming at the right moment, you might be able to dodge them. I'm sure somebody's done that, and that's great. If you have, please share with me your wisdom so that I can do that. I would love to tame a Thyla at some point. We're, go we're going to. We're going to. But uh, probably... Probably not just yet. Thylo really doesn't help me do anything right now, so I have no need to get one. Is that the same blue-winged Argy from before? Is that a different one? Level 15, I think it's the same one, yeah.
<clears throat> wow. Oh! Man, I, yeah, and you notice I think the thylos are a lot darker in coloration than I remember them being. Level 45. That's a no. No, no, no. Another RG down there. No sign of any more Ankies, though. I think I'll travel this way, and then we'll head further in towards the towards the plains and the mountains again. <clears throat> I'm actually going to cut away and I'll bring us back when we find something, hopefully. Uh, or when I find something else of interest, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, we're back and uh, I got an explorer note here. Uh, no good Ankies yet, though. Magnus appears to be an ancestor of the modern horse. Based on its stripes, it may be the African variant of Equus Giganteus, which appeared in North America during the Ice Age. But that is pure conjecture. Its behavior in the wild is similar to that of other wild members of the Equus genus. It sustains itself by grazing, while keeping safe from predators by living in herds and outrunning its attackers by a superior speed and stamina. Horse and man have long been partners in survival, and this remains true on the island. In Equus, survivors will find a trusty steed on packed land. Proven interesting the creature in the wild, mounting it, and then carefully soothing over time by feeding it vegetables. In fact, Equus reliability has led some survivors to construct special saddles for them. I even encountered a man who added extra saddle pouches that doubled as mobile crafting stations for chemical supplies, foodstuffs, and other items. Although not as robust as what you might find within a village, this utility helped him live a nomadic, solitary lifestyle. Some survivors employ Equus to herd and wrangle other creatures with a specialized lasso. This tool is sometimes effective for self-defense as well, as Equus is limited in battle on its own, at least compared to aggressive prehistoric carnivores. Huh. Uh, also, sorry about that. Got a little bit, uh, got a little, uh, got interrupted for dinner, but so not really interrupted. It's just like, oh, here's, here's food. I was like, yay, food. And, um, yeah, so it's like, and as I came back, just a little bit of sound issues, but we fixed that. <clears throat> um, seems to be working now. Oh, we got a second note here. This this makes me think this is actually Rockwell's Manor. Having readily available oh, subjects for... has helped my experiments tremendously, even if their numbers Thank dwindled you. over time. Not only was I able to curb the side effects of my Freya Curry's endothermic properties, but I managed to bring out an additional benefit of the mixture. Now, it also lowers the subject's metabolism, letting them go longer without needing food. Marvelous! I hadn't even considered that as a possibility. Why, with all I've learned from these experiments, I imagine that I could reverse the effects of the curry and create a concoction to aid survival in extreme heat as well. I must find more volunteers, post-haste. Uh-oh, Rockwell has started human experimentation, although, in fairness, he, he seems like he's trying to do good there. And he, he, by the way, if you didn't know, is the maker of all of that. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, come on. I like how I got attacked by two micro raptors and I killed one of them instantly with the axe. No. Ah! <laughs> Get yeeted. 
That's actually harder to do. It used to be pretty easy to get them for. If you knew what you were doing. Back in those days, the trick was simply don't move too much. Just kind of stay in a circle. Just kind of stay, let them circle you and smack them when they get too close. But, um... Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. More food. Okay. Now... What I was saying was, firstly, this is an absolutely gorgeous area. Secondly, yeah, the way you used to be able to deal with micro raptors was you just kind of, for me at least, I would just kind of sit there, let them circle me, and then when they got, when they took a bend that was too close, I would smack them. That doesn't really seem like it works as well anymore. Like, they take a much wider arc now. You can still do it. I, I did just do it, but I don't think it works nearly as well as it used to. We got a baby Diplo over there, and it's Mama. Still nothing on these Ankies, though. All the ones I found are just garbage, so. I'm gonna start heading away from Redwoods now, because I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. It's beautiful, and I would almost and I would definitely consider living here, but I also Thylas. Oh the sunset. Look at that. Oh yeah. A little framey though. Lighting's actually kind of weird at the moment. I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right, we're going to check this plane here, and then I'm going to cut away again. I want to try to include what I can of footage, I, obviously. But, like, you got to be selective sometimes. And if you're not finding anything, then nothing is happening, right? Oh... I wonder if there's an oh we got the night time coming in here is that a is that a rock wall there no oh we got the moon yeah i'm gonna yeah so, like i said sometimes i'll disable clouds sometimes i won't uh i don't really feel like doing it like i'm too lazy <laughs> to do it right now even though it's literally one console command away I would rather focus on making con uh, making this uh, this stuff, getting this video done, hopefully getting the objective done. Really? Oh come on! There we go. Ooh, very nice, and we will need a saber tooth uh, at some point because they are very good in um, some of the caves on the island. What I would think the island did get right is that it, you have I have more reason. You are garbage. Uninstall, Trodon. That was just terrible. Did I tell an NPC dinosaur to just uninstall the game? Yes. Yes, I did. And would again. Um, okay. We're gonna put the chitin booties on. Didn't get any other armor worth it, but... Oh, there's a Dimorph right there. I want to see if they have babies. Again, it, it, it's supposedly, as far as I understand, any creature can have babies, but... Not all of them will, for one reason or another. I also do like that the AI has been improved enough that the uh, pa uh, parent creatures will actually protect their young. I mean, unless you have an Argentavis and you just swoop in and steal them. But then again, if I'm not, if I can't fly myself, and that happens, there's only so much I can really do without the magical power of gun. Why do the parasaurs always run directly where the towards where the player is whenever something attacks them? It's like, hey, buddy, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to bait the enemy. To you. You're not allowed to distract the enemy by making them attack something else. Only I'm allowed to do that. 
All right. Let's go take a look at some of these mountains and see what we see. Oh, we got another dinosaur. God, they are massive. We got a Serato there. It's actually a pretty, like, this is near the area where I found them and where, or where I tamed them in my Ceratosaurus guy, uh, Idiot's Guide to Ceratosaurus, actually. Um, but it looks so different up close. Like, I barely recognize it with all the changes in foliage, and that's a good thing. Sometimes you can, I, I don't remember. I feel like I have sometimes found them along the sides of volcanoes. And I know I could just Google where they spawn and eventually I will do that. But part of this game that I've really enjoyed is just the adventure. It's not knowing where something is and having to go find it. And having to just go look around. But I also acknowledge that I need to take one of these things sooner rather than later. So can't keep just wandering around aimlessly forever. Why is there a, Lys a Lystrosaurus up here? Get out of here. And this is the same spot we came to yesterday. And it's just like, man, this is where I know they spawn, and this is what we're looking for. And it's nice that we've seen a couple of them, but I gotta say, I'm a little annoyed at how bad. <laughs> it's just like, man. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, that's a turtle. I feel like turtles spawn in areas that they shouldn't. Why is there a turtle out here in the middle of the plains? I don't know. Is it because the river's down there? I don't get it. I don't understand it, and it somewhat annoys me. Again, it's a nitpick. It's just like, why is this here? Why does this exist here? I guess if I have to, I'll take a lower level, but... I'd really like something good for an Angie. I wish the Angie actually got a TLC, not to change its model, its model's fine, but to give it a new ability and to give it damage resistance. It's the Ankylosaurus. It is the armored dinosaur, and I don't believe it gets any damage resistance whatsoever. I could be wrong, though, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And that just makes zero sense to me. I think that's an explorer note down there, but I don't know if I've already gotten it or not. The answer is no. Of all the abnormalities that I've observed, the tamed megalodons stick out to me. It was almost like they were stray dogs who were re-socialized. 
as though they had a genetic history of human obedience. Most of my observations have been in the wild, but I think I may learn a thing or two if I observe domesticated creatures more closely. I need to study their diets, their mating patterns, how they socialize with other species, all that. Rumor has it that there's some woman that's tamed a whole mess of them, all by herself. So many that they call her the Beast Queen of the Jungle. Maybe she'll have some useful insights. And thus, a very interesting friendship would be born between Helena and Mei Yin. Um, although that didn't stop Mei Yin from eventually from punching Helena in the face when she just tried to talk her out of taking revenge on Nerva. At least I think that was the reason. I don't really remember. I guess we'll find out. Either way, I do remember that was so that was funny because it's like she didn't just punch Helena in the face; she knocked her out. Like she just straight up KO'd her. All right, that is an Anki, but it's again not a great level. What about this one? Ninety-five. I'll take it. Sorry, loves. This is mine. Goodbye. I prefer a stronger one, but I'm not going to be picky at this point. This is one of those, like, we need to get this done. Um, if I want to get a better one later, I can. Right now, what is important is getting this tame done and maximizing metal gains quickly. Because um, I need to build that up. I need to make some things. I need to do... Was that the dire wolf howl? Or was that just like a nighttime ambient noise? If that's the dire wolf howl, oh my god, that's eerie and terrifying, and I love it. Can can we get more of that, please? Can I can I I'm gonna tame some dire wolves. I'm probably gonna tame them whether or not that's the sound. So I've run into them already a couple times. I don't they didn't make that noise. All right, I'm gonna take this guy back to base and I will bring us back when either something cool happens or we get there. All right, we've made it back home. Let's do this. Boop. Nope. Oh, what is that? Get, get out of here. You saw that, right? You just slid right through it. Like, get out of town. <laughs> yeah, although I think what happened was exactly what just happened there, where he got caught on, like, the door. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. We will get this one of these times. What? What? Okay. He, like... Clip the door so he fell out. There he goes. Oh, what? What? What is that? Come on now. Game, are you kidding me? I was just complimenting that your physics had had improved. Now you gotta go make me look stupid. <sighs> I mean, as a general rule, yes, I think the physics are better, but that was uh, that was dumb. Come on. Okay. What? What? No. Uh-uh. Get in the thing, man. I mean, I could just tame him right out here. It's not a big deal, but it's annoying. Like, why is that happening? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Dang. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's kind of funny, just slip and slid right out of the... Oh man, that, that deserves some sound effects for that. All right, let's do this. Oh, I thought something attacked and I was like, ah. Oh. Oh, gotta make sure I got the right darts. This is actually kind of a pretty Anki. It's kind of uh, like a 
Got a lot of white on. What, what are your colors? It's a little tough to tell in the dark. Okay, actually very typical Anki, but I think I'm going to like it. Oh, hold on. Can you just whistle neutral real quick? I do not want anything coming over and attacking, so... And no, this does not have a baby, uh, as far as I can tell. I was like eating the arrows. Ugh. But yeah, the real life Anki wouldn't have had the spikes like this. Uh, it wouldn't have needed them. It would have had like the crap, like the raised parts by, um, above its head. Like this, the Anki's, even the Anki's eyelids were hardened in real life. It's crazy. And yes, it did have the club on the end of its tail, but that club wouldn't have had spikes. Still, it really wouldn't have needed them. Like, the, this is not a, an, a creature that honestly needed more spikes. This is one of, if not the most heavily armored dinosaurs of all time. And in life, it had a blow, it could strike with enough force that even a T-Rex's leg could get broken and took a direct hit from it. Like, I mean, it's actually pretty scary how, like, OP Ankylosaurus was. Actually, if I have the veggies, I might as well use them. Do 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 do. Oh. What's this? Oh, a painting canvas. In is that new? I don't remember that being a thing. Well, again, I never used it, so. <sighs> I'm gonna put this trade dummy just in a random location. Um, so, like, right here. By the way, I actually like that they changed the Dodicarus level up sound so that it doesn't, um, so it doesn't just sound like an annoying, uh, like that that it used to have back in Ark Survival Evolved. I, mm, that was so annoying. Okay, do you like veggies or do you like um, berries? Okay, you definitely seem to got the... You have a thing for veggies. I'll get some more. Alrighty, we are back. And this thing is about one feet away from waking up, so that's great. Now that it's daylight, I can actually see the colors and uh, yet another minty fresh utility tame here. Look at that. Look at that mint green. Actually, it looks quite nice. Yeah, I like this. I like this Anki. Also, look at that stone. That looks like proper stone. God, it does look good in UE5. Not as, uh... Like, I've said it before. There's a video you should go check out. Um... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even remember what it's called, so I'm gonna shut up. I just remember that it is a uh, someone recreated Solitude in Skyrim and made it just the city, just the the city, none of the NPCs or anything, uh, and just made the city and in UE uh, and uh, Unreal Engine 5, and it looks absolutely amazing. Like it's incredible. It's like you could have fooled me into thinking that was real for a second. I mean, the longer you look at it, it the more the Uncanny Valley kicks in, but. It still looks it still looks so good. Alrighty, and the Anki is up, and for some reason I was bleeding. Alright, we're gonna leave the well, I'm gonna take the veggies. Nah, we'll worry about it later. Not my problem right now. I'm gonna need to figure out a name for this thing, because I always name my utility tames. I still haven't named my damn Dodix, but. Okay, well, first I had a problem getting him in, now I'm a problem getting him out. Come on now. There we go. And I wanted to take this thing for a little test, for a quick test drive. We need to find some metal nodes real quick. I think I know where to look for them, but, uh, yeah. Th this is going to be probably a bit of a shorter episode. I mean, it depends. I haven't actually checked how far we are along time-wise, but uh, I wanted to test something. 
I want to see if the Anki has been updated so that it will swing like the Dodic does at uh, metal nodes when it's near them. Or even just rocks, honestly. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna head for that node right there. Uh, you can see it. It's been, uh, past the two or the, the fork in the river there. I don't think it's a node. It's a little mountain, but that does look like it would have something. Also, look at this low flying cloud. Look at that. I'm gonna fly into it and hope my game doesn't explode. <laughs> Never mind. No, I will not be doing that. It's uh, moving somehow too fast. Or actually, just dispersed when you get close to it. That's so cool. I do love the volume. I do love the dynamicness of the cloud cover. Like, it looks so good. But it, it... It's one of those things where it only adds to the experience. But if you hadn't included it, it would have been just fine. And what is that? Is that a Sarko? Yes, it is. All right, down below us, we have Sarkosuchus. Um... Which is just called Sarko for some reason. Um, I mean, that's the abbreviated name, Doi, but I'm saying it's like why Sarkosuchus isn't that long of a name. Oh, we have a Rex. Uh, oh, level 10. Oh, and I love this horse. This horse just walking right up to this battle. Now he cares. But a minute ago, he was just walking right up there. He didn't care, and then he got hit by something. He's like, oh. Wow, imagine getting close to a bunch of battling creatures and getting smacked in the face. Right? See, does it do it? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that, it still doesn't appear to. Maybe if I set it to aggressive or something? Yeah, I remember that, uh... Let's see here. Maybe it's a behavior you have to enable. Oh. Okay. You know what? To hell with it. We'll do this. That's not what I wanted to do. Bam. Okay, see how much metal we get from that? And that's just like a regular metal node. Like, that's not even a good metal node. What would have taken me several minutes to farm that, that amount of um, raw metal, uh, this thing does in seconds. Even though it's not max level. Or not even, like, super high. Unlike the Dodic, this thing can harvest berries as well. So it can serve in the capacity where it will, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at uh, look at all the beautiful metal. That's 150 metal right there. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I love this. Look at the, like, the blue-green on top and the darker blue legs. This is a Gorgeous Anki. Man, we lucked out on this one. Not the greatest level, but it will get the job done. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna keep harvesting some of this metal and, uh, oh, okay. I really love the detail on this metal. Like, look at that. You can see it kind of coming up out of the out of the vein. That's so cool. It just the detail put in here is great. It's beautiful. It's fantastic, and we love it. Ah. Oh. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to call it an episode and I'm going to take this thing back to base and get cooking.
But yeah, it's been a sweet ride so far. I'm loving playing through this game again. It just feels... It's it's funny. It's the same map, but it feels fresh and new. And that is a dead aloe. I'm going to go get that. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. We've got the Anki. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. We've got the Anki. <laughs> Crisis averted. And uh, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing great. Really starting to get things moving here. Hopefully in the next couple episodes, I'll be able to move... I might be doing a, uh, a building stream, but I don't know. I'm probably going to be doing at least one grinding stream or just grinding resources. I mean, that's that's not going to be anytime soon. That's going to be once I've already moved and we're just going to be stockpiling. But uh, for now... Oh, got a Serato down there. Level 40. Okay. The one directly under me. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for today's episode. Once again, if you enjoyed it, do me a solid. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that stuff that pleases the algorithm gods and spreads this video around YouTube. I really appreciate it. Um, and, um, bleh. At any rate, this has been TBT. I'm signing out. Once I remember how to English correctly... And I will see you lovely people on the next exciting episode of Ark Survival Ascended.